In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily apply material design to your contact form 7 forms. So if you don't want to style them yourself, this is a simple plugin that allows you to use material design, which is design that Google uses for the Google Forms application. I'm going to show you in just a second what that looks like. And we're going to apply that to your forms. And without much work, you can have good looking forms that are more appealing to your visitors and hopefully fit in with your theme. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at it and serving your clients better, then start now by clicking subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and make sure you sign up for the private WP Learning Lab Facebook group where we can hang out, ask questions, help each other get better at WordPress. There's a link in the description down below, so make sure you check that out. And with that out of the way, let's head into the screen capture. In case you're not familiar with material design, this is what it looks like. This is a Google form, and they do a lot of material design type stuff, and this is the appearance of it. And Compared to a regular contact form 7 form, this looks pretty good because out of the box, this is what contact form 7 looks like. And the material design looks much better. And I have some tutorials on contact form 7 CSS so you can customize the form appearance on your own. They're linked to in the card up above and in the description down below. But I'm going to show you a plugin right now that's going to get you to something that looks like this a whole lot faster just by installing a plugin. So if we head back into our dashboard, and then go to plugins and add new and search for contact form 7 material. This is what we want to install up here. 5,000 active installs, not a whole lot. Four stars out of five could be worse. Updated three weeks ago, compatible with the current version, so that looks good. And before you install any plugin, you should back up your site files in your database if you need help with that. I've linked a tutorial up above that uses Updraft Plus to set your backups, and it's a really cool plugin. It's free. Anyway, I'm going to install this plugin now because I'm on the demo site and I'm not too concerned about it breaking. Then we click on activate. Here we're being asked if we want to allow data usage, so how we're using the plugin to help the developer try to improve the plugin. So you can choose to allow or not. I'm going to click on skip to not allow it. So now we're at the material design thank you for installing page. Material design adds a link underneath the contact form plugin itself. So right on the left hand side menu here, there's a quick start guide that shows you or tells you how to do this and instead of telling you I'm going to show you how to do this right now so we're going to go to our forms in this case I'm going to edit the form that I have on this page which is just my basic contact form and this is the basic form right here I'm going to click on edit you would do this to any form that you want to apply the styling to so unfortunately we have to do some tweaking to our form it doesn't just apply all the styles to the form as is and it shows us what we have to do on the right hand side here under material design so this is what our form needs to look like to have the styling applied. We need the MD form short code at the beginning, the closing one at the end, and then we need our label. Instead of having a HTML label tag like we have in a regular form, we now have it inside of a short code over here. And then this is the code for the form field itself. And then we close the MD text label. And that's how we're creating our form. So I'm just going to copy this. If you have a lot of fields, what you might want to do, instead of copying it all, just do it bit by bit. So just copy this first one, put it at the beginning, put one at the end, and then put a slash in there. And then for the text label, just copy the label and paste it over the actual label that we have in our form. Delete the second label here. Get the closing text short code. And now we have our first field converted. And if you have a big form, that's probably how you want to do it. If you have a smaller form or you're making a brand new one, you can just go ahead and copy this whole thing. I'm just going to copy my remaining fields because the form's almost identical to what I have. I'm just going to replace what I have like so. And just for fun, I'm going to copy the space here and put the indents into these spots as well. Just a little easier to read so you can see what is nested inside of where. Technically, it should be an indent for all of them because they're inside of the main form nesting. 
And now we have, hopefully, a form that's styled like material design. So I'm going to save this and then refresh this form out here. Looks like I have a short code problem because it printed out the email short code didn't actually do what I wanted it to, and it's missing a short code. I accidentally deleted it. All right, let's try that again. Save, and then refresh. And now we have our material form. As you can see, it's just like Google. You, you click into the field, and the placeholder shrinks and moves up, just like on Google Forms. Uh, what we don't have here is something like a checkbox. So I want to see what a checkbox looks like. It's going to quickly add maybe a checkbox and a drop down. So I'm just going to copy two of these. It's going to call this one drop down. Call this one checkbox. Put the drop down right in there. Options will be one, two, and three. I'm going to put a checkbox in here. Options will be A, B, and C. And I'm going to save this and see how checkboxes appear. And you've probably seen this upgrade call to action all over the place. For two bucks a month, you can upgrade to customize your design further. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. Two bucks a month, I mean, it sounds cheap, but you have to pay that two bucks a month forever. So I don't know if that's worth it, really. It might be for you, I'm not sure. But uh, I wouldn't do it personally because the design that you have here is pretty darn good. And you can use regular CSS to customize these things. So these checkboxes aren't quite what I expected. So I think I did something wrong. Yeah, because this is not a text area. I copied the text area. So let's see the documentation. Search for... Checkbox. All right, here we go. We got to go MD checkbox and for drop down MD select. So this has got to be MD select, and this one is MD checkbox. Save, and now that should look a lot better than this current broken form that we have here. And you probably also notice this link down here. When you hover over, it says only admins can see this message. I thought that that link might have been live to the public. If that was the case, we would have just hidden it, but it says admins only admins can see that when you hover over it. So that should be okay. Let's refresh this page and see how our drop downs and checkboxes look. That's quite a bit better. It's got the same styling like on Google when it has a circle on the checkbox. One thing Google does in their forms is they have that circle but disappears. So it's like a drop of water dropping into a bucket. Whereas on this form, the circle persists. Pretty minor, but that's okay. So this is a quick way to style your form if you don't want to do it manually using the CSS tutorials I made for you. And it's a pretty good design. It keeps it nice and clean and simple. And as you saw, the documentation through this link right here is very valuable. It takes you to this page where you can see all the short codes available. And for every type of input you add to your form, you probably have to use a different type of MD short code. That's how we do it. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit subscribe, then the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the private Facebook group and the link in the description down below. And next up, check out one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.